what the quarterback future is for the Eagles. And the one thing that I want to say is that I'm not going to outright say that Gardner Minshew is better or that Gardner Minshew is a good quarterback. I just wish that we had gotten to see more from Gardner Minshew because he's a real wild card in this situation. Pretty much all the weaknesses that Jalen Hurts has, from my perspective, Gardner Minshew was pretty decent at. Um, obviously, the weaknesses of Jalen Hurts is horrible at reading defenses, uh, doesn't have a quick release, and is horrible on deep, deep throw accuracy, which are all things that Gardner Minshew is either pretty good at or decent at. So I would have liked to have seen what Gardner Minshew could do more against actual uh, starters, with actual starters. Obviously, beating on the Jets just doesn't impress me. I know the Jets upset a few teams like the Bengals and played well against the Buccaneers, but that just doesn't impress me. And going up what he did with the backups against the Cow most of the Cowboys starters that also didn't really impress me that much. Uh, maybe that for the opening drive impressed me, but um, I would have liked to see more from him. And I'm not necessarily sure what's going to happen with him. Um, obviously, Gardner Minshew is a he, he's a he's a he's a guy who wants to be the starter. So. I don't know what's going to happen to him. I really do hope that he stays on the team because I think that it's good to have competition on the team, uh, especially if the Eagles don't go the route of trying to trade for an Aaron Rodgers or uh, Russell Wilson or, God forbid, a Deshaun Watson. Who, who really knows about that situation? The other thing is the fact that eight weeks ago, the Eagles, the Dolphins, and the Colts would have netted you top 10 picks, but in this in this neck of the woods, now you have three top 20 picks, so it's you're not necessarily in the best situation possible uh, when it just plain and simply comes to draft picks. Obviously, a top 20... Uh, well, I think it's like pick 19, 16, and 17 don't carry nearly as much weight as picks like <laughs> 5, 6, and 9. So I don't know what they're going to do there. Obviously, I would like to have an Aaron Rodgers or a Russell Wilson because if you if you just plain and simply think about it, the quarterback is going to make the wide receivers better. And that's been one of the biggest issues with the Eagles. The elevation of play. We have the running game. We have Miles Sanders. We have Jordan Howard. We have Boston Scott. We have Kenny Gainwell. But we don't have a guy who can read a defense as the starting quarterback. We just don't have that. Jalen Hurts is not that player. And I... I know that the first thing that's going to come out of people's mouths is, you're a hater. You hate Jalen Hurts. Uh, you liked Carson Wentz, and that's that's why everything's clouded. Carson Wentz didn't make the playoffs. Jalen Hurts did. Carson Wentz had like four yards in the playoffs. Jalen Hurts had like 200 and a touchdown. The Those things just don't matter to me. <laughs> they don't. Um, I never said that I wanted Carson Wentz back. I just wished him good luck and let him on his way. I like Jalen Hurts as a as a person. I do. I just I just don't think that he's as good of a quarterback as everyone on the Eagles is saying he is. I think that his leadership qualities is up here, but his skill level is kind of down here. And you need that quarterback play to elevate yourself. With the Eagles, we don't have that. We don't have that play to elevate you. I understand that the players on the team, they respect him. But a lot of these guys are good soldiers. They'd respect me, okay? 
if if they put me up in there and they'd be like, oh yeah, he's pretty good. No, no. I mean, they're all good soldiers. Kelsey's is a good soldier. Graham is a good soldier. Lane Johnson is a good soldier. They're all good soldiers. They're they're going to they're not going to pull rank. You know, they know that having faith in the quarterback or at least pretend faith in the quarterback is going to be better for the organization. Okay, maybe if they put me in front of there, they wouldn't be happy about it, but you catch my drift. Like it could be it could be like almost any quarterback uh, that is young and has talent. Obviously, Jalen Hurts has talent. That cannot be thrown out. But they supported Carson Wentz out there. <laughs> you know and, uh, what I'm saying? So whatever quarterback they're going to put up there, Eagles fans are going to find a way to put up propaganda for them and say that they're better than they actually are. Um, but obviously an Aaron Rodgers, obviously a Russell Wilson would make this team better. The issue is the fact that we have other issues with this team. You obviously want to add more offensive linemen. You want to add more defensive linemen. We need to add a linebacker. What are you going to do there? You know, maybe we need a, a new cornerback. You know, we have a lot of picks, but the problem is... If we add a quarterback, we're probably going to have to trade two of those first rounders, um, and probably a second rounder for, from next year or something like that. So, these are all things that we have to think in our mind: Are we a team that's going to continue this retooling process, or are we a team that believes that they are one quarterback away from contending? Because here's what I'm going to say: With the team that we had this year. I believe that if we had Russell Wilson, we would have been 11 and uh, 6, which would have been t a two two games better. And I believe that if we had Aaron Rodgers, we would have been uh, 12 and 5, which would have been three games better. So I don't know. I, I I have no idea. It'll be interesting. If I was to make a prediction right now, I would pre uh, just the the obvious prediction that we're going to keep Jalen Hurts. That's just my personal prediction. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Um, I'd say at the end of the season, after the Super Bowl, I'm going to talk about the things that I was wrong about. And yes, I was wrong about the Eagles. I didn't think we would be a nine-win football team, but that's also because I thought that some of the teams that we were playing were going to be better. I thought the Saints were going to be better. I thought the Giants were going to be better. So... I'll leave it for that.